everyone, I got a big box from Vampire, so let's go ahead and open it up to see what they sent me. It looks like they sent me one of their Fat Tire e-bikes. It's packed really well, so I can't wait to get it unpacked and start assembling to see what it looks like. I have everything unpacked and it looks like they sent me their Van Powers Grand Teton. I do have a little bit of assembly to do. I have the owner's manual with me and I have to tell you at first glance, it looks really easy to read and I really appreciate that it's in color. So sometimes that makes it a lot easier for me to tell what I'm supposed to do with each step. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the front handlebars. I'm making progress on this assembly process. I don't have very much left to, to do. I have the front um, fender to put on. I need to put the light in place and then just put on the pendles and I'll be ready to get it charged up so I can get outside and start riding it. I have this Grand Teton fully assembled. It didn't take me very long. I did take my time to make sure I got my adjustments the way I needed to for the handlebar and things like that. All that's left is for me to go ahead and get it charged so I can get it outside and start having fun and bring you guys with me on my ride. I am outside today. I am enjoying this 50 degree weather. It has finally stopped raining again, so I'm taking advantage of it. And I'm out with this Grand Teton. I'm gonna give it a ride today, bring you guys with me. But before I do, let me go ahead and tell you guys just a little bit more about this particular bike. It does come with the 48 volt removable lithium ion battery. It's fully encased right here. You do get up to 65 miles of a range on that single charge one really cool feature with this particular bike is that you have the option if you want to you can purchase an additional battery and it will go right here and it'll provide you with an extended riding um, experience with that additional battery okay and looking at the handlebars you do have really nice rubber grips they have a little bit of texture on them they're really soft and comfortable feeling in the hand you have a left thumb throttle right here and then here's your control panel so you have your on button your plus button, your minus button, that's going to change in between your different riding modes. You have a light button right here, and then you have an information button. I'm going to go ahead and power on the bike and the LCD display. In looking at the display, you'll notice it is a colored LCD display. On it, you're going to see your battery um, life right here, your miles per hour. This zero is telling you that I don't have any kind of pedal assist on it right now. It's off. But if I changed it, it has eco mode, sport mode, or it has boost mode. It also has a clock up here at the top. If I um, wanted to have um, my lights on, it would have a light indicator showing that the headlights are on. This bike is also Bluetooth capable. So if you had Bluetooth hooked up, there'd also be an indicator light for that. In addition to that, there's also a USB-C port that's located underneath the display, so you could actually charge your phone while you're riding your bike. With the, um, the I button, you can change in between different screens on your LCD display. There's two different screens, and it's gonna show you your, on this one, it's gonna show you your trip, your overall odometer, your trip time, and then it's gonna show you your, your riding range. And then if I go to the other one, it's gonna tell you your average speed, your calories burned, your maximum speed, and your average power while you're riding it. In addition to that, this bike also gives you the availability to go in and change some of the settings. For example, you can change miles to kilometers. You can actually set it um, up so that you have to have a password to be able to enable your bike before you start riding it. You can also engage the automatic headlight feature so that when the outside lights are at a certain, certain um, degree, the lights will automatically come on for you. So just a couple of those features that you can go ahead and change in addition to a few others that I didn't mention. A couple other things that I wanna point out, it does have a nine speed um, shifter up here. And then looking at the front of the bike, we have the front suspension with the lockout availability. You have your front headlight that I already have on. A cool feature with this as well is that you can change it between a low beam and a high beam. You have an, um, a metal front fender and you have the fat tires that's going to give you a little bit more versatility while you're riding it. Quick release on your seat. You have a 750 watt motor 
And then you have the nine speed um, Shimano derailleur system down there. You also have the rear rack. And then a cool feature is you have the integrated tail lights. You have one on this side and one on the other side. And those tail lights stay illuminated at all times while you have the headlights on. And then when you turn on your brake lights or your brakes, they will actually flash. Which I know it might be hard to see as bright as it out here, but they do flash and both sides flash when you put engage your hydraulic disc brakes. Is that this bike does have the availability for you to download an app to your phone called Van Life. One last feature that I want to tell you guys about before I hop on and start riding is that this bike does have a walk assist mode with it. So to enable that, I'm going to press and hold the minus button for a few seconds. And doing that, the bike's going to engage into the walk assist and it's going to propel itself as I'm walking next to it. Just like that. Okay, now that I've shared just a little bit more about this bike, I'm ready to hop on and go for a ride. ahead and change it into eco mode instantly can tell the bikes wanting to help me which there is a torque sensor with this bike so as you ride in and are pedaling the bike is learning your habits and it's going to provide you the assistance to give you a better riding experience crazy to think that it's at the end of the summer and I'm able to still get outside and enjoy the outdoors. We have had a lot of rain the last several weeks so it feels great to have the sun out and I can just feel it on my skin. I like the versatility of these fat tires. A lot of the riding that I do is off trail. There's a lot of dirt roads, lots of hills, lots of bumps. I do have some straight stretches. I do have some concrete that I drive on, but this is probably my favorite trail that I, that I go on. And it being so close to the river, you just never know if it, the rivers come up and washed areas out. So the fat tires are definitely a plus. And they provide for a smooth riding experience as well. As I'm tra transitioning into the sport mode, the bike is definitely wanna, wanting to help me out a little bit more. Being out here in this really bright sunlight day, this display is really easy to see. The numbers are legible. As I've recently mentioned, we have had a ton of rain. And as you can see on my favorite trail, the river has definitely gotten up and my road is now flooded. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and turn around and continue riding the other way. Hopefully the next time I'm on this trail, I'll be able to go all the way through like I like to. With the three different bike modes, you're going to have a maximum top speed of around 20 miles per hour. This bike weighs approximately 76 pounds and it has a maximum weight capacity of up to 400 pounds and it is recommended for anybody that is five foot four all the way up to six foot tall. So much fun to be out riding this Van Powers Grand Teton Pro. If you're looking for a new e-bike that can go up to 65 miles on a single charge, definitely go check them out. We'll have a direct link in the description of this video that will take you to their website. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Until next time, have fun and stay safe.